How's it going guys? It's Richard and it's been a while since I've done a player import update video so I thought it'd be quite a good opportunity to bring it to you. Now straight off I have of course reached the fifth area which is known as the bowl I believe so if we I think it's import management. Yep so I reached the the bowl yep the bowl. Uh, I actually did that quite some time ago I think it was around the end of last week just before I had kind of a lot of time <laughs> of stuff to do and I've got 27% into into the next zone. So we're doing not too badly so that's if, if we estimate that's about a week's work perhaps a little bit longer than a week then we can predict that I should be like about another three weeks into into the pincer region um, nothing really exciting has happened that much with my port I've upgraded a fair number of, of my buildings I think I'd already got three boats last time I'd done an update video but we do have three boats and working towards upgrading this office style thing for fourth boat now another thing that I've been um, doing is basically I have a massive overhaul of all of my crew so I got rid of almost all of my previous region basic standard ones. So what would be the cartographer, the oh, I can't remember, the card sharp, and I honestly can't remember what the other one was called. But I got rid of all of those and I replaced them with these newer additions that have an extra 250. So when you take that into account with the like 10% bonus and everything, it adds up quite nicely. So I'm doing quite nicely on that. I've also I've unlocked the new special island in this region which gives you the judge of dice which is an awesome solidarity guy it's a hundred plus for each unique crew member not even i'm not sure if that actually includes captains or not and whether it includes itself but still it's pretty awesome that we've managed to get that so i've only got one at the moment because as you can see they're really expensive to get hold of but i've actually this time around unlike the previous region i decided to focus more on my crew first because then then you can level them up then invest in the extra sh uh, ship parts so not doing too badly in in terms of that Resources, actually, for the first time since, basically since the start of Player Imports, I've been struggling for chimes. Because I've been buying so many extra crew, I've found that my chimes have really depleted a lot more than I thought I would. Also, I seem to have so much cherry wood left over. And loads of people said that you'd have loads of, like, surplus jade, but I've found that really not to be the case. And with a lot of building upgrades and, and ship upgrades, I really am surprised, like, how much is left over. So I've got quite a lot of jade. In terms of trade goods... Not really doing particularly well, to be honest. I've got a fair amount of lacquer, like, five, well, one has a fair amount, I mean, five, five of each of Ki, Chi, how you pronounce it, and each of those. And for some reason, I have absolutely loads of ancient bones. But that's, um, yeah, no, it's, it's one of those things that I think both the missionary and the biologist give you ancient bones as their, as their missions, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I can't actually currently show you my... Uh, my ships and their current upgrades because they're at the moment all out at the moment the the voyages take a really long time the standard voyages with the maximum speed are, I think can take around six to seven hours but if you have the, the slower speed then it's about nine hours which is pretty tough and then with the special voyages it's 14 hours for the things like uh, boy uh, I'm trying to think, scroll pieces <laughs> I just completely forgot what they're called there scroll pieces speaking of which um, I've got two whole things now, so I've, I'm focusing on the sea singer armor because I spend a lot of time at glacials and things like that, and I've been focusing on that. And I thought it'd be really nice to upgrade my mage armor and see what it's like. Also, speaking of armor, although not related to this video, I've been considering doing a video showing what armor actually does. Like, does it decrease the accuracy of the enemy? Does it decrease their maximum hit? Things like that. So we're going to see how that turns out, and it's going to be an interesting fact for me. I've got a lot of plans for things like EOC in depth videos, but that's not the point of this video. I'm kind of annoyed that my ships are out actually, so I can't show you their base stats and things like that. But still, um, a few things obviously I'm not as far as a lot of people were. To start with, when player imports first came out, I was really keen to get as like basically as far as I could, as quickly as I could. But it got to the point where I wanted to more focus on success rate and not losing crew and whatnot. And it seems I because of that, I sacrificed that and it meant that I'm really not as far as I should be. And also, I, I was away quite a lot over the Christmas period and been kind of busy recently. Which has meant that I haven't been able to get that far, but 27% to next zone. So hopefully sometime in February I should be into next zone and then we can look at these awesome armors. But from what I've learned, if you're looking for any tips, focus on your thing, your scroll missions earlier on rather than later. Uh, because they like basically the scroll missions scale, so it's harder to get scrolls later on in the in the player imports. But I guess we'll see how it turns out. Also, I'm pushing for the player imports armor to get an accuracy bonus because I really think they deserve it. Uh, but I guess we'll see how that pans out. So not really much to say in this player imports update video. Hopefully when I reach the next region, my boats will all be in port. And I'll be able to show you sort of their base stats and whatnot. But um, that's it for now. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.